All right, Caitlin, thank you very much. We want to get a little more insight into this political race. I'm joined by political analyst Jeff Simone and Jesse Marmella. Je I mean, <laughs> I wish we had a half an hour. Um, I want to start with you, Jesse, though. This Clinton-Sanders thing, I mean, what is the end game for Sanders? He's vowing to take it to the convention. There's no chance, even if he did something with the superdelegates. Uh, how does he ex extricate himself in a way that maintains his, you know, authenticity with his supporters? Well, you have to think about what Hillary Clinton did in 2008. In 2008, after the California primary, that night, she gave a rousing speech, didn't uh, didn't t uh, tip her hand that she was getting out, and got so out she was still the in next at day. That point. She was still in, and then got out the next day. So I don't think we can fully read into everything that's going to happen next based on what Senator Sanders said last night. In fact, the New York Times started reporting last night, before he even spoke, that he's laying off a significant number of his staffers today. So even though he's publicly talking about keeping the fight going, uh, behind the scenes, it's clear he sees the writing on the wall and is winding down. And I think there's a way for him to thread the needle and keep going through the convention with his message and the issues that he's been talking about that are so important and resonating, but stop running against Hillary Clinton. Yeah, you know, Jeff, we had the situation before we get to Trump specifically where we thought that the Republicans would go to the convention and it flipped the script. But has this actually helped uh, the Republican side having this tussle between uh, Clinton and Sanders? Um, if so, very little. I mean, it, the focus has been on Trump, and you have Trump who's making uh, mistake after mistake, even after he's basically wrapped up the nomination. So it's a bigger question of what the damage level that each candidate can do to each other from here until essentially November. Um, Hillary Clinton's going to get a significant bump uh, out of wrapping it up today, or last night. Um, I, it remains to be seen if Sanders will be as adamant as he has been the past few weeks. Signs indicate that he will moderate his message uh, in, in terms of tone, not necessarily right. content. But he, he definitely uh, has a lot of enthusiastic supporters, and it's really up to him personally to tell his supporters to now back Hillary Clinton. Very quickly, I wish we had more time. Trump, you talk about mistake after mistake, but none of them have hurt him to this point. Does this judge situation hurt him more than the other missteps? Yes. I mean, even people who might have voted for him, say, in New Hampshire or early on in the primary process where uh, they were making more of a protest vote, um, you know, now this protest is actually affecting the, the party at large, uh, possibly the general election, and you have him making racist, uh, completely completely ridiculous statements that are going to hurt him, hurt hurt more Republicans down ballot, and that's more of a serious consideration. Yeah, I think we're seeing the forward. early signs of the Teflon starting to wear off. It's certainly not entirely off, but it's starting to scratch. Uh, and you see Republicans who have come out and endorsed him now rescinding that endorsement, right. which we haven't seen in the past. It's a change. And we'll get much more insight on that in the next hour when you sit down and talk some more with LaToya. We appreciate Teflon. A nice little reference to the Reagan era as well. <laughs> Jeff Simona and Jesse Murnell, appreciate it.